Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today mga Lodi, may sasagutan ta tayo na isang random math problem galing from differential calculus. At tinanong to ni Renzi Lagrada na isa sa mga subscribers natin. So gusto nyo malaman pa paano ito masolve. And yun mga Lodi, so try nating sagutan. So ito yung problem, find the equations of the tangent and the normal lines of y equals x cubed minus 7x plus 6 at its points of intersection with the x-axis. So, kung a-analyze natin maigi mga Lodi, ano yung first step na kailangan natin gawin? Okay, tama ka dyan Lodi. So, kailangan natin makuha yung points of intersection with the x-axis. Alam natin na kapag nasa x-axis tayo, yung y natin ay, okay, tama Lodi, 0. So, we have y equals x cubed minus 7x plus 6. So, yung y, papalitan natin ng 0 kasi we are looking for the intersections mga Lodi, di ba? Okay. So, dito lang ti siguro tayo magtatagal sa pagkuha ng intersection. I mean, kasi kanya-kanya tayo ng, ng teknik eh, kung paano natin malalaman yung intersection. Pero kung mapapansin yung mga Lodi, kapag yung pinaka nilagay mo dito, yung pinaka basic na number, let's say yung 1. Pag nilagay mo yung 1 dito, 1 cube, that's 1 minus 7, negative 6 plus 6, 0. So, nag-satisfy agad siya. So, diretso ka na mag-synthetic division ka na agad. So, paano natin ito si synthetic? X cube, so 1. Walang x squared, negative 7, positive 6. Divisible by 1. Kasi tinesting na natin sa 1. Paano tinesting ulit sa IJ? Lagay mo yung 1 sa x. Okay? So we have, bring down natin para malaman natin yung dalawa. Kasi tatlo yung intersection yan. Bakit tatlo sir? Kasi po, 3 yung degree natin. Maliban na lang minsan kung, um, yung intersection natin kasi minsan tangent. Eh. So parang counted just 2. That is yung tinatawag natin na multiplicity. Pero dito, mukhang tatlo. 1 times 1, 1. So, 0 plus 1, mga load. So, 1, 1 times 1, that's 1. Negative 6 times 1, negative 6, 0. So, from cubic, it will be reduced to uh, quadratic. So, this will become x squared plus x, kasi 1 siya, minus 6, equal 0. So, dito mga loads, madali na mag-factor. Isip lang tayo ng numbers ng product negative 6 na ang sum ay positive 1. So, we have x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2 equals 0. So, we have x equals negative 3, tsaka x equals 2. Okay na tayo dyan, mga Lodi. Okay, so, ilista muna natin yung intersection natin. So, ang mga nakuha natin intersection ay 1, 0, tapos meron tayong 2, 0, at tsaka yung negative 3, kama 0. Ilagay natin. Okay? So, upa, tapos na tayo sa unang problem na yan. Next. Ano yung next, na, yung next natin kailangan kunin? Okay, so dapat dito yung concept natin matibay. Ibig sabihin ng matibay, yung mga foundation natin, yung mga common concepts like derivatives, slopes, tangent lines, alam natin yung relationship. Okay? So, eto mga Lodi, makinig mo ige. Paano natin makakuha yung slope ng tangent line? Yan, tama ka dyan Lodi. That is the first derivative of a given equation. So, para makuha natin yung slope at any point, so, di ba meron tayong y equals x cubed minus 7x plus 6. So, kapag ginawa natin yung y prime, or that is yung dy over dx natin, that will be our slope, mga lods. So, derivative ng x cubed, that's 3x squared minus 7. So, that will be our slope at any point on the graph or on the curve. So, next, punta, puntahan muna natin itong point natin, 1, 0. So, at x equals 1, Ano yung slope natin mga load? So, m equals 3 times 1 squared minus 7. So, this is equal to negative 4. Sige, isa-isa yun natin. Dito muna tayo mag-focus. Nakuha na natin yung slope negative 4. So, ayan na yung mismong equation natin. Gamitin natin yung point slope form para makuha yung tangent line. So, y minus y sub 1 equals m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So, we have y minus 0. Unahin muna natin yung first point, mga Lods. Bali, ang dami equation nito. Anim. Equals m negative 4 multiplied by x minus 1. So, we have y equals negative 4x um, plus 4. Or, pwede natin simplify as 4x plus y equals 4. Or, pwede rin 4x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, ito yung tangent line mga lods sa 1, 0 paano yung norma sa normal line 
So, sa normal line mga loads, ganun din. Pero ang slope natin ay negative reciprocal. Bakit, Sir IJ? Tandaan natin na ang tangent line is perpendicular dun sa normal line natin. So, the concept of perpendicular slopes, or perpendicular line, sorry, so yung slope nila are negative reciprocal of each other. So, anong slope nito? Negative 4. So, ang slope ng normal line natin, mga loads, uh, will be, uh, at slope of the normal line, that will be negative or positive 1 fourth. Di ba, reciprocal nito? Tapos negative na. Okay, ganun lang siya, loads. Tapos ganun pa rin, same step. So, y minus y sub 1 equals m, pero this time, 1 fourth na to, multiplied by x minus 1. So, cross multiply, 4y equals x minus 1, simplify further x, minus 4y is equal to 1. So, ito yung sa 1, 0, ito yung tangent line mga loads, tapos ito yung normal line. So, proceed tayo dun sa pangalawang point natin. So, pwede nyo namang ipost mga loads if you want to copy, huwag po kayo maya. Okay? So, same step lang mga lodi ah. So, medyo bilisan natin ng konti yung pacing kasi nga, ayun nga, okay naman na siya. So, at x equals 2, so we have m equals 3 times 2 squared minus 7. So, this is 2 squared, 4 times 3, 12 minus 7, therefore our slope is 5. Pero ito yung gagamitin natin, slope, our point, sorry. So, y minus y sub 1 equals m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So, y is equal to 5x minus 10. Kapag sinimplify natin, 5x minus y, in standard form na lang, okay lang naman. Or depende sa form na sinabi ng prof nyo. So, dito yung trip natin. Ito yung tangent line dito. How about normal line? So, negative reciprocal. So, our reciprocal or our slope will be negative 1 fifth. Kasi 5 reciprocal and then negative. So, y minus y sub 1 equals negative 1 fifth multiplied by x minus 2. So, 5y equals negative x, negative, negative, positive. Therefore, x plus 5y is equal to 2. So, ito yung normal line natin dito. Okay? So, dalawang equation na lang kulang natin mga loads. So, ipost nyo lang ha. Kasi, gusto lang natin mapagbigyan si load again. Siyempre naman, alam nyo naman. At least, baka may iba rin na magtanong about dito. So, at least, alam nyo na pa paano gawin. Okay, last point tayo mga loads. So, yung last point natin, negative 3, 0. So, ang gagamitin natin, x i negative 3. Okay? So, we have m is equal to 3 times negative 3 squared minus 7. So, negative 3 squared, tama ka dyan, Lods. 9 times 3, 27 minus 7, that's 20. So, ang slope natin, 20y minus 0 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So, minus negative, it will become plus 3. So, y is equal to 20x plus 60. So, we have 20x minus y equals negative 60. Okay? So, yung slope naman natin sa normal line, tama ka dyan, Lord. Negative. Okay, tama. Negative 1 over 20. So, same procedure, sir, ij. So, we have y minus 0 equals negative 1 over 20. x minus negative 3, so that's plus 3. Cross multiply. 20y equals negative x minus 3. Huwag mali sa minus ha. Therefore, x plus 20y equals negative 3. Ito yung normal line natin. Okay? So, just in case may questions kayo or concerns mga loads, huwag kayo may mag-comment sa comment section. Thank you so much mga loads sa patuloy na pag-support and sa pag-subscribe sa channel natin. And I hope you all the best. Pagpalayan kayo Lord. And keep safe na lang, especially pandemic mga loads. And dumadami na nga ulit yung face ng COVID. So, see you in my next tutorial video and bye-bye.